Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my masks. Um, it's a quick and easy method and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. The first thing you want to do is to go up here and select the Roto Brush tool. Now double click onto your layer. And now with holding control, you can select the size of your brush. So you can go big or small. So I'm going to go with something like this for the beginning. And I'm just going to click in here. And you can already see it kind of auto selects um, this part right here. Now you can just always click around try to try to get the pink line to um, perfectly match the outline so something like this this Some things can be a bit harder, like uh, fingers or hair, like the small detail. And especially if the background color is the same color as the character. So, yeah. Sometimes it's, it's easier, sometimes it's harder. I'm just going to, and it doesn't have to be perfect, so just going to do it real quick like this. Like this. Yeah, and you can see here the hair. Yeah, I can make it perfect. this and just press the alt key to uh, delete the brush and you can already see here it's especially hard because the hair is white and the background is white so it kind of struggles here to select the outline So I think that's pretty good for the beginning. Something like this. Yeah. And now you can go back onto your composition. Just click here. Now you can see the mask for now. And now you can see that the next frames have been automatically masked. But yeah, sometimes there can be mistakes, so you have to go back in and fix it. And after a few frames, it just have to go in and select it again. So it continues to mask out the other other frames. Yeah, my PC is slow, so it, it can take a while. But if you are done with um, fixing all the frames as good as you can, the next step to get your mask is to go up here to layer 
then click on auto trace and you can select current frame or work area you can see here my work area is the whole composition right now so i'm going to select a work area and click on ok so now it's creating a mask so something like this and now you can also delete the go through brush effect and now you have a mask and you can click on here click on add and yeah now you can add all your effects or correct the mask if you want for example this part right here you can kind of do the um now you can do the small detail like this like the hair and if you do this for every frame you're going to have the cleanest mask possible and you save a lot of time with using this tool so yeah that's the best way like right here you can see there's something wrong so you can just just fix it real quick like this now you can see looks really good you can fix this and if you do this for a few minutes it will look really good this and you can see it's the mask is created on the other frames too so yeah just go through the frames and um, do all the details and if you're done you will have your clean mask so um, yeah this is basically the tutorial and um, I hope you enjoyed and yeah, bye.